Hello, welcome to my programming class, Introduction to Programming. My name is Thomas. Today we are going to be discussing data types. Data types are classification system that we can use to specify and categorize the type of data our variables can hold. There are basically two types of data types. We have the primitive data types, which are predefined data types that are part of the Java language. And we also have the user-defined data types. These user-defined data types are any data types the programmer defined to a variable that will hold data. Um, let us declare some variables and define their data types. If I take you back to my vehicle class, I have some variables already declared there. Java variably has eight types of primitive data types. We have eight types with varying precisions. The first one we're going to have here is what we call byte. A byte is an eight bit size integer data types with limited precision. Uh, we are going to assign the value number wheel is four. It's an eight bit size. The next one we have is short. Short data type is a 16 bit size integer data types with limited precision which is precision is higher than the one for the byte. Uh, let's say the weight is 5400. The next we have on the list is int, which is short form for integer. It is a 32-bit integer data types with limited precision higher than the one for short. Same mileage, let's say is 189,000. The next we have on the line is long. Long data type is also a single 64 bit integer data type with varying, which is a large precision. If you have values you want to represent in billions, you will be using long. And when you declare values with long, you include a surface L which means you are telling the compiler to treat this variable as, as a long data type. The next we have on the list is float. A float data type, a single floating integer data type with limited precision like long when you declare your variable with float you also infer a surface which is f to indicate to the compiler that this is a floating this is a float data type
the next we have is double. Double is similar to float. It is also, but for double, it is a double floating integer data type with limited precision higher than that for float. We also have the decimal floating um, data. Then the next we have is car, which stands for character. It is a 16-bit data type which takes a value between 0 to 65,000. And when you declare your variable with car, you have to enclose your variable in a single quote. Just like that. The last on the list in primitive data types is what we call boolean. A boolean is just a one bit data types. A, a one bit size data type, it takes an a value true or false. If we say the vehicle is new, we say false. Then all of these are all primitive data types. Then the last on our list is user defined data types. Remember, I told you we have two types of data types. This is a user defined data types, and for this, we are going to call it a string. For string, you have to enclose your data in a double quote. Unlike boot or like character, we use a single quote. We can call this Honda. So this is how you declare data types. You declare variables and assign the data types to them. So the data types will tell you the value the variables can take. You cannot declare short value for bit it won't take that size it might be too long or you want to use a long variable a long value which range in billion to short it won't have the capacity to take it it's like you are comparing a 64 bit to a 16 bit size data type and quickly to show you for float and double, you may be wondering, they both take this a floating uh, point. So why do we then have double and single? How do we then have double and float? Double has a larger precision than the floating data type. Let me show you form of let's print these two value. Let's print these two values from these uh, variables which are uh, fuel capacity and speed. You will see the floating point that I'm talking about. If we print, let's print fuel capacity and we also print the speed for print speed let's say is driving on a speed of 250 let's say 25 do we even have floating point for speed no 
let's change this speed to be engine capacity because speed cannot be a floating number cannot be a decimal number change speed to um we can change the speed to engine capacity engine capacity <coughs> in that case we'll be printing engine capacity changes to engine capacity so if you look at our program our code we have a compilation error the reason is that the fuel capacity and the engine capacity are outside of the scope of this scope, which is what we call the local variable scope. So I have a video on variable scope. If you want to check that out to know more about variable scope, Otherwise, what we are going to do here is to make these variables available within the scope by declaring them with a static keyword. In that case, we change them from um, from not being accessible to accessible static here we declare this static as you can see they have become available if we print you are going to see the precision i'm referring to you see the precision for a few capacity we only have this much precision then for engine which is declare with double we have this much precision so that is how we represent variables with data types in programming and this is where i will end the video for today don't forget to like share and comment just tell me what i should do better in my next videos and bye see you in my next video